In the city of Charleston, which we all know is notorious for flooding, drainage projects are really important. That's why Charleston city leaders are looking to alleviate some of that flooding at the intersection of two major roads, King Street and Hugie Street. And our Autumn Klein joins us live from there now to tell us about phase two of this drainage project and what we can expect to see. Good morning. Good morning, Shelby and Katie. Today, city leaders are breaking ground on phase two of the UG King Street drainage project. They will be constructing a new pump station here that will increase the capacity of the existing drainage system. The city will be building a stormwater storage feature that should relieve some of the flooding that occurs in this area during significant storms. It will essentially be a pond to collect water that will then take that water underground and release it into a creek. They are planning for the pump station to increase the water flow coming out of the intersection by 70,000 gallons per minute. It will also increase the amount that is able to be stored in the drainage system. Because this project is going on Charleston Housing Authority property, project leaders plan to make it visually appealing with dif different architectural elements, landscaping, and will have seating areas for the community. They want this to be more than just a stormwater project, but an amenity for the people to enjoy. This project began back in 2021, and as part of phase one, they took steps to improve stormwater flow at the intersection and prepared for the installation of this pump station. The total cost of this phase is $20 million, and that is funded by both the state and the city. I spoke with Matt Fountain, the director of stormwater management for the city of Charleston, who shared how he believes this project will impact the community. So th this is a project I think that has been um, long advocated for, especially by the council members and the residents in this area. It's a very impactful flooding situation on the peninsula. Um, it impacts a number of residents as well as these major roadways. There are multiple schools, there's a fire station, um, there's an affordable housing complex, uh, obviously the, the through corridors, the hurricane evacuation routes. This is going to make a huge improvement to the quality of life in that area of the city. This morning, the city will be officially breaking ground on phase two of this project. Fountain says that he believes they should have it fully completed by early 2026. Live in Charleston, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.